Greetings everyone. Today we're going to discuss the difference between a homogeneous system of equations, non-homogeneous system and equations. And once we know that it's a homogeneous system of equations, we're going to decide whether it's trivial solutions or non-trivial solutions. Okay, so the first thing we know is that a homogeneous system of equation is always consistent. That is because any um, matrix A times the vector X is equal to a zero vector, which means there exists a solution to a homogeneous system. To our right, you can see that, oh, sorry about that. You can see that our B is equal to zero, and we can automatically know that that's a homogeneous um, system. Right here, this may or may not, this system, this second system, may or may not have um, a solution, but we know it's not equal to zero, so we can go ahead and say that it's a non-homogeneous system. Okay. When we're dealing with homogeneous um, systems, it can either have a trivial solution or a non-trivial solution. A trivial solution says that the vector x is equal to the vector 0, which means that x1 is equal to x2, x3 is equal to x4, and so forth and so on, all the way to xn, which all those x's are equal to 0. For a non-trivial solution, it's easy to identify if the number of unknowns is greater than the number of equations, which suggests that there's infinitely many solutions. You can also say, if and only if the equation has at least one free variable, then the homogeneous equation, matrix A times vector X, which is equal to the vector, z uh, vector 0, has a non-trivial um, solution. Here's another way to say that a solution is trivial when the number of unknowns is equal to the number of equations. Okay. Last but not least, you have non-homogeneous solutions, I mean a system of equations, which is similar to this one right here. And in a non-homogeneous uh, system of equations, like I mentioned already, the vector A, the matrix A, excuse me, times the vector X, which is equal to the vector B, B can be anything, but it's not equal to the zero vector. And like I mentioned, it may or may not have any solutions. So there you go. You should be able to identify a homogeneous solution system of equations versus a non-homogeneous system of equations. And once you know that it's a homogeneous um, system, then you can decide whether the solution is trivial or non-trivial. And there's an easy tr trick right there. I hope that helped you out. And thanks for watching.